as far as LED notification light is concerned, you do have that on this device, which is there in between the front camera and the loudspeaker over there or the earpiece. So this LED notification light can also blink up in different colors. By default for low battery or when, it, when it, the device is actually charging, it will glow in white color. You can configure the color of the LED notification light with the help of third party application. By default, it is not there in the settings that you can change the color of this LED notification light. It will light up whenever you have missed calls or missed miss or unread messages. So it will actually do the purpose for which you may like to have it on this device. This is how the camera UI will look like on the new Motorola Moto G. At the rear we have 8 megapixel camera from which you can see the view as of now. It does have autofocus and it has done that already when I have opened the application. As far as settings are concerned, you can slide from here to bring up the settings. You have HDR mode, you have control for the flash, you can disable the flash as well. You do have option over there to control the focus and the exposure so you can you will have this bracket over there so that you can change the exposure of the photo by moving it on the photo itself we do have the video options over there which includes high definition video support on this device from the rear camera at 720p you also have the option of recording a slow motion video at 720p we will confirm the frame per second for both of these videos we do have panorama mode also supported on this device and panorama mode does work on this device pretty fine without any issues we have actually tested that we will upload a photo with that mode in our full review when it comes to the gallery you can take a look over all the photos which you have captured on this device uh, by just swiping the interface from the right hand side and then you can go to the gallery like this but make sure you do a continuous swipe otherwise you won't be able to do that so this is how you can change the exposure and the focus will also be shifted to an extent so let me just take this photo as of now of this panda to show you the quality as far as the photo quality is concerned the photo quality is pretty good on this device in daylight in low light it is decent and without the artificial light this is how it will be let me just take this one as of now so you don't need to do anything in order to take a photo you just need to tap on the screen and will take the photo let me just show you both of these photos one by one so this was taken without the artificial light as you can see uh, again this one looks good as compared to the original object over there in terms of colors in terms of brightness in terms of clarity as well then we take a look over the photo which has been taken with artificial light which is this one this one is slightly better in terms of brightness I would say as well as in terms of details it is slightly better when we talk about the other one which we have also taken by mistake this one has been taken again but the camera was shaking at that time that my hand was shaking when we took this photo so this one is not clear this one is kind of blur which might happen to you at times if you actually take the photo in a way that uh, accidentally you shake the device when you took the photo because whenever you tap on the screen the device uh, will be slightly shaken a bit that might impact some of the photos which you will take on this device and in that case it will come blur and if we take a look over the package inside we can see that the first thing inside the package is the device itself which is the new Motorola Moto G and one thing I would like to tell you is that I have I'm doing this unboxing after using this device for the last three days so I have actually gathered a lot of data I have actually taken down a lot of notes regarding the usage regarding the performance of this device the battery backup and one thing I would like to tell you more is that this device comes with a screen guard which will come pre-installed. So you get a screen guard which comes pre-installed. Uh, I have removed that so that I can show you the clarity of the display and other things. But you may not actually want to remove that unless you buy a new screen guard for this phone. So there is a screen guard which comes pre-installed. This is how the phone looks like as you might have already seen. So this is something which I really like. Again, it has followed the same design principle which we have seen on the new, on the older generation of Moto G. So this is something like an enlarged version, but it has taken some new things. So Motorola has added two loudspeakers on this device, which are on the front, which does give you very good quality of sound and louder sound as compared to any other device right now in the market, including Redmi 1S. And if we take a look over the backside, the backside is again the same which we have seen earlier. It is a rubberized matte finish back cover which can be removed. But even if you remove the back cover, you can see that the SIM card slot are accessible. But the battery is non-removable on this phone. So you cannot remove the battery out of this phone. The SIM card which will go inside will 
need to be the first sim card should be a micro sim and this one should also be a micro sim this time they have added a micro sd card support on this device with which you can actually store more picture videos and other data it can support up to 64 gb of micro sd memory card and you can store all the data on that but you cannot install applications on the sd card so we get the standard headphones which we have in the package i have used these headphones and again the quality from these headphones in terms of sound is again not too good i would rather recommend you to go for any other third party headphones which will work this is how the audio lead will look like you do have a mic module to pick the calls with the motorola button over there but again volume control is not there on these particular headphones but any third party headphones most of them uh, which are from good companies they will work even will even if they have volume controls they will work with this one you also get this charger uh, which has a micro usb cable which is non detachable so that means the micro usb cable is something which you will need to buy in order to sync the data from this phone to your pc so in case you would like to do that in case you would like to transfer content you will need to buy a micro usb cable which does not come within the package the charger there inside is again a charger which does not have a detachable cable when it comes to the output current the output current from this charger as we can show you as of now so it is 550 milliampere charger which we have over there i do, i don't know whether you can see that so i cannot read it properly but it looks like a charger which will give you 550 ampere of milliampere of current so it is not one ampere charger 